Hey guys, I'm Andrew, the head grower here at Pure Greens. Today we're back with another tutorial video. We'll be going over cloning. Cloning is the process of taking a cutting and making it root, creating its own plant. So the first thing you want to do to get started is you want to gather all your supplies. We have our isopropyl alcohol that will be used to clean our cutting board. You want gloves, that way you can keep your cuttings as clean as possible. You'll need rock wool or any other media that you prefer to use for clones and a tray to set your media in. You'll also need some, some type of rooting hormone. Here we prefer Clonex. You'll need a scalpel with the blade, preferably a new blade, that way you know your cut's as clean as you can make it and you'll need healthy cuttings. The healthier the cuttings are, the faster that they'll root. After you've soaked your rock wool for at least an hour, you want to go ahead and remove it from your nutrient solution. You don't want to squeeze your rock wool cubes. You just want to let some of the excess water run off. I prefer to not use the side of the cubes with the pre-made holes. I like to actually flip it over. That way I have a fresh surface to put my cuttings into. After you got your rock wool all set up in the tray, you wanna go ahead and get your gloves on and you'll start by cleaning up your cutting board. It's important that the surface you're cutting on is clean, that way your cuttings don't become infected. I prefer to use isopropyl alcohol, but you could also use a 1% bleach solution. Now that our cutting board's clean, we're gonna go ahead and set up our scalpel with a new blade. And now we're ready to start our cut. So now that we're ready to start actually working our cuttings, you want to note that these cuttings are sitting in water. That way, as the plant transpirates, it doesn't dry out and begin to wilt. Here's our cutting. You want to remove the lower foliage that way it limits the nutrients that the cutting will need until it has its roots and it also lowers the rate of transpiration. You want to make sure that you leave around two to three nodes worth of growth towards the top of the cutting. That way it has enough to support itself but not too much to where it pulls uh, too much energy. So the goal here is you want to have around four to six inches of plant left on your cutting. You want to locate a node or a growth point and make a 45 degree cut right below that node. Before you dip into your rooting hormone, scrape the sides of the stem gently. This will help the rooting hormone penetrate through the outer cells and increase the roots. So here, after we just dipped into the, our rooting hormone, we want to go ahead and insert our cutting gently, making sure you don't bend the stem into our rock wool. You want to make sure, too, that you don't poke through the bottom of your rock wool or else that'll dry out the bottom of the stem. One thing you want to know as you're sticking your cuttings into the rock wool, you want to make sure you have adequate spacing in between your cuttings. I like to go every other cube, that way they're not so crammed, you get better airflow and less chance of mold to start.
So now that we have all of our cuttings stuck in the rock wool, you're going to take your humidity dome with the vents closed and place it over the top. These are now ready to be put under a low light source. You want to make sure that the light isn't too powerful while our cuttings are trying to root. They're not able to uptake nutrients like a normal plant would, so a lower light is necessary. Once you get these placed under the light in their proper spot, you want to kind of maintain temperature between 75 to 80 degrees. And within seven to 10 days, you should start to see little bits of root poking through the rock wool. Today, we took cuttings of sage, and that's what we'll be cloning. You can do this with almost any plant out there. The possibilities are endless. All right, guys, so today you learned how to clone. We took cuttings of sage, cleaned them up, dipped them in our rooting hormone, and now they're ready to grow their own roots and become their own plant. Make sure you tune in next week for our new video. Stay tuned.